How do we plan a STEM play world for infants, toddlers and under threes? The first step is selecting an engaging and dramatic story. For infants and toddlers, this means finding a book that connects with their world and is personally meaningful to them. At Windermere Early Learning Centre, the educators chose the story of Possum in the House by Kirsten Jensen. The educators were working with a deep understanding of infants' development and their interests. They had possums everywhere in their environment. The educators co-experienced with the infants the drama of the naughty possum going all over the house. Crunch, crunch went the cornflakes. Screech, screech went the possum. As he ran into the... In choosing a book, it is important to find a story with a plot that lends itself to introducing a problem situation that infants and toddlers solve. But it should connect with their world. At the Windermere Early Learning Centre, the educators introduced to the infants the problem of trying to find the baby possum. They use puppets of a possum family to help them set up the problem. So the play space that we created, we really were, especially with the infants, we were trying really hard to think of ways of engaging the children. Um, so there's one section of the book where the possum goes to sleep. So we were trying to figure out, okay, how can we draw on that experience in order to create a problem for the children to solve? So we were able to come up with the idea of we find mummy possum and then daddy possum and the problem is that baby possum's lost and we need to go find baby possum so that she can go to bed. Finally, when selecting a story for a conceptual play world, it is important to find a book that is enjoyable for two infants and the educators. Possum in the kitchen and he's hiding in a cardboard. Help, help, squeak them up. Oh, drat, drat, drat.